Oh, look at this. We got a, a TP Mills. Oh, that is sick. A TP. World's greatest spotter. Never. Well, today is definitely going better than expected. We didn't really. anything planned. Yeah, I literally was just going to say we didn't have anything planned. It's funny. All right, folks, welcome back. Today should be a fun one. We just saw a listing for an estate sale, which we usually don't go to, but this guy had a crazy collection of a whole bunch of things. So it's gonna be interesting to uh, see what they have. Not sure if they're gonna have golf clubs. That's usually what we're looking for. But, but it looks like cool stuff. Yeah, it looks right? like a bunch of crazy stuff, so. Yep, we'll do what she says. We'll meet you at the first place. I'm not sure what we're gonna do afterwards. We'll probably do some thrifting for golf clubs or something like that, but let's see what they got at this place. Hopefully it's as cool as the pictures. We'll meet you inside. Look at this old uh, tackle box. Old Plano. Oh, look at all of them. Oh, wow. Dang. Trick worms. This guy really liked the uh, trick worms. Oh, it's like a top water almost. Flying lure. Huh. No, that's just a tube. It says flying. <laughs> <laughs> it flies when you cast it, I guess. <laughs> Dang, there is so much fishing stuff. We're not going to bore you with all of that, but tons and tons of fishing yeah. stuff. I wonder if there's any rods and reels or anything. Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> Air compressor. Oh, here's the fishing stuff. That is crazy. Look at all these tiny little uh, closed face reels. That is crazy. I've never seen so many of those. What about train? Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks like custom. Mm -hmm. Well, the pictures definitely weren't lying. Oh, mm -hmm. my. This guy collected a ton of stuff. Wow. A little sailboat. Look at this. It's even in like the display <laughs> case of these things. Huh. The other room had a bunch of Star Wars stuff. I have no idea if this stuff is worth anything, but it, looks cool. it definitely looks cool. These are crazy. I think these are like the vintage ones when they first came out. Yeah, I wonder if it has a date on it. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to pick it up. Yeah, I'm not sure all this stuff. Oh, there's the. Uh, <laughs> That is crazy. Yeah. 80 bucks. Oh, wow. That is like very comfortable for a uh, pillow. Seat cushion? $5. For a state sale, this place is pretty cheap. Uh huh. Especially for like this kind of collector stuff. Yeah. Usually this stuff would. I mean, if you sold all this stuff at auction, it'd be pretty expensive. Mm hmm. Is there a year on these guys? Made in Ohio, though. Made in Ohio. I don't see a year. Hmm. Yeah. That one? Or two? <laughs> Let's see if we can bundle. It's 30% off today. I just saw a sign. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, it's worth getting. And this is a dollar. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. The Joe Camel's, uh, it's like a tin. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Really cool. That's cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. I remember to bring flashlights when we come to places like this. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't really planned, and I just saw the listing. Oh, look, it, that's a cup full of it. Oh, yeah, that's the full thing, Ashley's saying, up there. I don't know if you can see that. You're strapped to my backpack. <laughs> I can't really point to you. <laughs> it's like a collection of Thomas the Train DVDs. <laughs> Did you know that's a thing you collect? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, Rock'em Sock'em Robot. Ooh. <laughs> what oh, are you looking at? The Brickyard? Oh, Brickyard, yeah. It's mm -hmm. funny, all the places that we've lived, we live right next to the Daytona 500, yeah, right next to the... Yeah, I don't think the... I've ever lived more than like 20 miles away from like a huge racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a bunch of cool stuff to collect. Uh -huh. Like a man cave. This guy had literally seven man caves in his house. <laughs> <laughs> it's like each room has like different things that he collected. Yeah. This is so cool. So that's going to be... That would be 70 cents. Oh, okay. Today. Sure. <laughs> that's gonna be 210. I'm glad you're doing the math and not me. <laughs> I can barely add. This is 210. 13 
Thank you. Alright, thank you. Well, that was a lot of fun. We normally don't have the best luck at estate sales, but I'm glad we got to film that one because they had a lot of cool stuff. But we're at thrift shop number one. They always have a lot of golf clubs, so let's see what they got today. All right, first thrift store, and we are definitely not lacking in the golf club selection here. No. This place always has a ton of clubs, and they churn through the stuff really quickly. So let's see if they've got anything new for us today. This tailor-made bag looks pretty sweet. It's like a, a Sunday bag or like a kid's bag. Doesn't have a strap, though. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, it's just missing a strap. That's where they buckle it down right in there. We can uh, add a strap to that. I think the bags in here are like five bucks, so we might pick that up. Ashley's always looking for the perfect Sunday bag. Yeah. It is her quest, her mission in life. <laughs> it is. Also, that's all you need in a Sunday bag. Just like 12 putters. 14 putters? <laughs> yeah, it's like that one commercial, all you need is 14 drivers. <laughs> I forget what that commercial was for. Not a very effective commercial. I don't know what it was for, but I remember it. But let's see if they've got any uh, golf clubs. We're getting off track here. Uh, I guess a full set of these Lynx Black Cats. I've had those for a while. Some old Kushnets. I think it's a full set of those Jack Nicholas Golden Bears. Look pretty sweet. The bags in here are uh, definitely nicer than they usually are. Yeah, it looks usually like, they've like gotten a lot of new stuff lately. Yeah, for sure. Oh, they still have this uh, Arnold Palmer bag. That's what I was looking for last time. <laughs> well, you guys said to uh, pick this up, but the uh, zippers we tested them out and they weren't yeah. weren't functional. But last time you did find the uh, the title. School. Yeah, the, yeah, the title is 990 DCI two iron. It's hidden in there. Yeah, I used those clubs in high school, and then we found one just like randomly in between a bag. It wasn't yeah. even in a bag. Behind a bag. Yeah. You guys said what I'm saying, you probably remember that. But it doesn't look like they have any clubs for us. We're gonna see how much that uh, little tailor-made bag is. We've got a uh, backpack strap we can put on that. <laughs> yeah, we ended up getting the uh, tailor-made bag. I think it was $5. And then we found this Pure Spin 7 iron. We've done the Pure Spin wedge thing uh, before. But this has got the diamond face in there. Yeah. And then Ashley uh, found this thing. This I is awesome. I thought it was the cutest little Coleman lantern. It is. But it's Avon Cologne. Oh, what is that? Avon Coleman Lantern Deep Woods Cologne. Yeah, because Avon sometimes does like collabs. Brands. Yeah, like a Supreme collab, but Coleman. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> if you ever want to smell like a tree, we've got you covered. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we'll meet you at the next spot. All right, next up, not looking good. Usually there's a bunch of bags and a yeah. bunch of clubs, but we do have some. Uh, oh, look at this. We got a, a TP Mills. <laughs> oh, that is sick. A TP M1, and it's got a golf ride uh, cord grip on there. Nice. $1.99. You guys know that we love the TP Mills. When we first started making the videos, we found these like every other yeah. video. We haven't found one in like no. over a year. That is pretty sweet. That is... I'm lost for words. They have like no clubs here. They got the Nancy Lopez putter, Wilson, but definitely the uh, fine... Exactly what we need. Yeah. A TP Mills. Sweet. Nice. Man, we haven't found one of those in forever. No. Nice. In the wild. In the wild. Well, today is definitely going better than expected. We didn't really have anything planned. Too. Yeah, I literally was just gonna say we didn't have anything planned. It's funny how that these works. days usually end up better than the ones where you're like, we're gonna go here, 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 and here. Yeah. But uh, the estate sale was awesome. We yeah. found a TP Mills and we also picked up- In the up wild. In the wild. Yeah, you guys have uh, sent us that. You've seen in the unboxing, so. We haven't found one in forever though. Yeah, but thank you guys for sending us yes. those. <laughs> we'll still be, we'll still like them just yes. as much. But uh, we also found this uh, Alabama vintage like Jansport shirt. Yeah, you can definitely see it. It's vintage though. It's super thick. Yeah, super thick. Ah, I got a bug. Oh no. Yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, I don't know <laughs> if I'm allowed to wear that around here. Might get a, uh, dang oh, it, no. ladybug. Ugh. It's good luck, right? Hopefully. <laughs> but uh, we'll meet you at the next spot. Maybe our, is. Yeah, we've had good luck. Now the ladybug's good luck. <laughs> Sweet. This is the weirdest video. <laughs> Let's see what they got for us. Uh, looks like a uh, persimmon. I think it's a crow flight. We'll uh, confirm that here in a second. Uh, it's covering. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. Crow yep. flight. Crow flight. K3 IC or 1C. That face is really cool. It's like uh, almost oh, like yeah. dimples right there. That one's pretty cool. Let's see if they have anything. Oh, they got a uh, Callaway S2 H24 iron. Oh, look at these. I think this is a full set of these uh, Yonex ADX Tours. And they have the graphite shafts. Oh, nice. Yonex always was killing it with the graphite stuff. They actually had a graphite head too. If it's a full set of these, we're definitely gonna pick them up. Looks, uh, I'm not sure what model uh, Phil Mickelson used. I know that he used the blades for a long time, but the new uh, Yonex, we saw those in the PGA Merchandise Show last year. Those, those nice. things were sick, so it's a full set. Definitely gonna pick those up. Probably gonna pick up the Crow Flight. Mm -hmm. Pretty good find. <laughs> yeah, we ended up picking up the Yonex and that Crow Flight. The Yonex irons are missing the seven, so it's the- uh, It's always the seven iron. Yeah, it's always the seven iron. We're doing the reverse tin cup challenge, everything but the seven iron, but pretty good find. We'll meet yeah. you at the next spot.
All right, this Goodwill has got some groovy music for us and a ton of golf clubs. Last time we were in here, I feel like we've said that a bunch today. Yeah, Last they, time we were in here, they had like five clubs. Definitely restocked. Definitely restocked. Bunch of stuff got in. We got a uh, few golf bags. Oh, Mizuno bag with a zebra putter. <laughs> nice. We're going to be surprising my dad with a uh, Scotty Cameron style zebra putter. We're going to see if it's any better. He's a huge fan yep. of the uh, the zebra putters we got. Lady Cobra. Lady Cobra. I'll, I'll one-up you. Literally. <laughs> I got two Cobras over here. The yeah, Cobra SZ 3 wood and a Cobra SZ 5 wood. Those are pretty sweet. Yeah. Wonder uh, what other clubs that person uh, dropped off here. I thought that said air conditioned. I was like, air what's... conditioned. Oh, it does say that. <laughs> no, air contoured. Air contoured. <laughs> that literally looks club. like an air conditioned club. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think we're going to get the uh, Cobras. And uh, we'll let you know if you find anything else, but definitely some good clubs. There's usually a ton of cool electronics, but these might be the coolest ones we've ever seen. We got a uh, metal detector, a uh, trolling motor, and a Rock Pals portable generator for 70 bucks. That thing works. Those things are like $250, and we need one. We'll use that for when we go camping. Plus, we got a pretty sweet uh, cooler right over there. And a very intricately uh, carved. That's $500 for that. It's like the most expensive things I've ever seen at Goodwill. We're gonna check out that uh, portable generator though. We are getting those golf clubs over there too, so yeah, random. Then they return seven days on electronics? Oh. Okay, cool. We have seven days, seven days. And I return the golf clubs if I don't like them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Games is not right. Yeah. That's one game that looks easy, that's not. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice place to be, but not a fun and game. And it's not stress, it's a stressful game. Yeah. It's not gonna <laughs> leave stress. <laughs> I've seen guys take a golf cart and run into a tree and swing their golf clubs through the lake and stuff. I'm like, and this is supposed to help your stress? Yeah, it's out. a pretty place to get mad at stuff. Yeah, really. <laughs> thank you. Just, it's not that close, but I'll get that. Y'all have a good night. You too, thank you. All right, we are heading out to the golf course to test out those clubs, but we're going to see if this thing works first. The uh, Rock Pals generator, we looked that up, and they're selling for like $300 on Amazon. I'm gonna, crazy looking. Yeah, this thing is going to be perfect for camping. It's got a bunch of USB things. It's got like the uh, old cigarette lighter. And it's got lights and stuff. More importantly, John can't sleep without his fan. So. Yeah, the fan is going to be coming with us on our uh, camping trips, but <laughs> let's, uh, oh, doesn't quite reach. Let's see. Oh, it's super light too. It is? Uh -huh. Let's see. Does it turn on? Come we'll leave on. this uh, charged here while we go to, oh, look, it does turn on. Nice. I don't know if we should leave this charged while we're gone, but. We'll risk it for the biscuit. We'll meet you at the uh, golf course. <laughs> All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. Super excited to uh, try out the ADX Tour Yonex irons. We looked them up. The same model that uh, Phil used when he played uh, Yonex when he first turned pro. And if you look at them a little bit closer, they kind of look like the uh, PM Titleist irons that he had when he first switched over to Titleist. So Makes sense. excited to try those out. But first, we got to hit that uh, TP Mills. Yes. That thing is sweet. So let's see what the world's greatest putter can do with the TP Mills. All right, first putt, TPM1. World's greatest putter never lets us down. You like that? It's the original. It's, the, it's a TPM one, it's just the model. Also, uh, TPM or TP Mills, he actually just sold the designs to Spalding. He didn't hand make any of these. There are handmade uh, TP Mills ones. And then his grandson is taking over the business. Those ones go for a huge amount of money, but. And there's Mizuno ones. Yeah, there? there's Mizuno ones. Yeah, those ones are cool because they're like grain, full, grain flow forge or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, but uh, putter's got Ashley's approval. Yes. You can watch me mess a putt with it and we'll meet you at the driving range. <laughs> I'll be good. Missed butt, as <laughs> promised. Ah, <laughs> uh, we just missed the perfect uh, nature shot for you. We just missed a squirrel jumping from one tree to the other. Yep. He didn't make it. Well, he's alive, but he, <laughs> yeah. he, he done fell pretty far. But uh, driving range was super packed, but we got some shot tracers for you. The Yonex irons, legit might be the uh, softest forged irons that I've ever hit. They are so nice. Not really supposed to be hitting clubs, but I couldn't, uh, couldn't resist that one. I think they're, I'm trying to think of a club that is softer forging than that. Maybe like some of the Hogan Apex blades or the Mizuno MP33s, but those things, it sick. Cool too. Yeah, and then Ashley absolutely killed the uh, Cobra 3 wood. Something about Cobra clubs. This one is like the biggest 3 wood head you'll ever see. It's like <laughs> basically, it, it's bigger than the, uh, the uh, persimmon one, the crow flight. Also, that's a Robert Trent Jones Jr. model yeah, of that. Cool. So that is pretty cool. But overall, a fun day. Hopefully you guys, oh, we got to show the uh, estate sale stuff, but. Oh yeah. We'll just show you that at the end now. All right, here is the estate sale hall. You guys saw us get the uh, Winston cup uh, butt pillow or whatever <laughs> we're calling cushion. it. Seat cushion. Yeah, works it too. has to be pretty old because it's a uh, NASCAR Winston cup series one. They haven't been called that in a long time. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely a good find there. That guy's collection was next, all of them. 
all yeah. of his collections. Yes, yeah, he literally <laughs> had like four or five man caves in his That's house. Awesome. That is awesome. But uh, we also got a uh, Joe Camel little water bottle thing yep. and a uh, Joe Camel uh, NASCAR car. Smoking Joe's 23. Yeah, it's cool. That is pretty cool. And then we also had uh, his, his and her size uh, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> definitely like ate too much lasagna. Yeah, you beat me to it. You <laughs> definitely ate too much uh, lasagna. And then we got that Alabama shirt yeah. to uh, just to show you that we're not Alabama fans. We bought a Georgia hand knit. Uh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. Crocheted. What is that called? I don't actually know how they made this, but it's really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Picked that up at Goodwill. I think it was like a dollar. But uh, overall, a good day. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.